Is it time to buy or sell Soxel ETF? In this video, we're delving into SOXL. Our initial report was posted on our website on Tuesday, March 19, 2024, and now we're providing you with a more in-depth analysis. Remember to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest analysis. Don't miss any important updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and is not financial advice. Since January 8, 2024, our system has rated SOXL as a hold slash accumulate, with a score of 0 0.93. Now, let's dive into how the stock has performed during this period. SOXL has exceeded our expectations, showing a remarkable gain of 45.69% since we recommended buying it 50 days ago. This results in an average daily return of 0.91% since it was designated as hold slash accumulate. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 56.44% change in the next three months, with a potential return ranging from 56.44% to 119.50%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected 65.34% change over the next year, with a potential return ranging from minus 8.20% to 123.64%. This translates to a price range of $38.02 to $92.63 after 12 months. In our latest update on SOXL, the ETF has been downgraded from a buy candidate to hold slash accumulate after the recent trading session. On Tuesday, March 19, 2024, the Soxel ETF price dropped by minus 2.63%, moving from $42.54 to $41.42. It has experienced a downward trend for five consecutive days. Throughout the last trading day, the ETF's value fluctuated by 7.61%, ranging from a low of $38.95 to a high of $41.91. Over the past 10 days, the price has declined in 7 instances, resulting in a total decrease of minus 11.57%. Trading volume rose by 20 million shares on the previous day, despite declining prices. This could indicate a potential increase in risk over the next few days. A total of 83 million shares exchanged hands, amounting to around $3.42 billion in transactions. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the ETF achieved a peak price of $56.99 and a low of $12.52. Currently, the price sits 27.32% below the 52-week high, equivalent to a decrease of $15.57. Furthermore, it is 89.05% lower than the all-time high recorded on November 26, 2020, when the price hit $378.24. Identified Signals for SOXL The Soxel ETF has a short-term moving average sell signal but a long-term average buy signal. With the short-term average above the long-term average, a general buy signal is indicated, suggesting a positive forecast for the stock. Potential resistance lies at about $44.67 with support around $41.03. Breaking the short-term average triggers a buy signal, while breaking the long-term average signals a sell. Negative signals include a recent pivot top sell signal on March 7, 2024, resulting in a minus 25.13% decrease. A sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, and increased volume on falling prices may impact the ETF's short-term development. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots show a sell signal 9 days ago. Bollinger bands suggest a buy signal 67 days ago. Short-term moving average points to a sell signal 9 days ago. Long-term moving average indicates a buy signal 51 days ago. When examining the 12-month chart, we observe. Short moving average signals a sell 5 days ago. Long-term moving average shows a buy signal 87 days ago. The relationship between short and long moving averages displays a buy signal 75 days ago. Remember to visit our website at stockinvest.us for more signals.
Support, risk, and stop loss for SOXL. SOXL has support levels at $37.48 and $34.86, with a risk of falling further if these are breached. If the $37.48 support is broken, the next support levels are at $34.86 and $31.19. This ETF is considered high risk due to its volatility, with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band. In the last day, it moved $2.97 or 7.61% between high and low, and has had a daily average volatility of 7.39% over the past week. Let's delve into potential day trading levels for SOXL. If there's an upward trend, the initial resistance level for SOXL stands at $48.33. Wait for this level to be breached before entering a position if you're not already invested. For existing shareholders, this could be a key consideration for swing trading. On the flip side, the first support level for SOXL is at $37.48. A bounce back could be anticipated if this support level holds, making it a favorable entry point. Our recommended stop loss is set at $39.37, which represents a decrease of 4.96%. This ETF exhibits significant daily fluctuations, translating to a higher level of risk. Additionally, there is a sell signal from a pivot top identified 8 days ago. Is Soxel ETF a good buy? Despite showing negative signals, SOXL is currently a hold candidate due to the possibility of a turnaround. While there are some weaknesses in the technical picture, our analysis suggests holding or accumulating this ETF as we await further developments. Our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued based on recent volatility and movements. On Wednesday, March 20th, we anticipate SOXL to open down $0.662 and start trading at $40.76. Trading comes with a high risk of financial loss, so it's essential to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Remember not to solely rely on StockInvest.us for your investment choices. Your use of the information signifies your acceptance of responsibility for your own investment actions. Here's our current perspective on the stock. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What's your target for the ETF? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Wishing you success in your trading endeavors and have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.